Today is going to be an awesome day. Ask me why. Just kidding. Don't ask me why. That's going to look really weird if you're talking to your computer. But I'll explain. Today is going to be awesome because you are going to learn how to build a profitable trading system, a profitable trading strategy. And if you master risk management and master discipline and take every single course that is available online about Forex, but you don't master step number one, which is a profitable trading system, then you will always lose money. If you don't have a way to have an edge over the market, you will lose money. That's what I want you to avoid. So I'm going to let the intro and disclaimer roll and then jump into the content while the intro and disclaimer is going. If you don't mind, click that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and click the subscribe button to the bottom right hand side of the screen and the notification bell to be alerted when we come out with new videos and follow us on Instagram. We're becoming very active over there if you want to keep up with more of my personal life. And I will see you directly after the intro and disclaimer. Talk in a second. Whether you are a beginner or someone who is still struggling to make profit even though you've been trading for a while, I'm going to start at the very beginning. I'm going to teach this as if you're trying to create a profitable trading system from scratch. Step number one in creating a profitable trading system is to create consistency in your trading with this strategy, with this system. And the process of creating consistency is extremely simple. We're just looking for rules. We are going to create rules first. That's the first step in the process of creating a profitable trading system. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. First, I want you to see the system we're going to create today. The process I'm going to take you through, I placed a trade based on this exact system last week in last week's video. I'm going to show you a clip from that video where we opened the trade live and show you how that trade worked out as well in just a second. So let's take a look at that clip and then we'll move back to the point of creating a system from scratch and start on creating rules. Let's take a look at that clip. I'll see you in a second. Instead, we're going to look at the pound Aussie, which just gave a five candle rejection. And we'll go over this if this ends up being a winning or a losing trade. I'm going to do a video on just this trade by itself. But this trade. In so, in that clip, you saw that we opened up a pound Aussie long trade live, or at least it was open live. I don't know if we actually opened it live in that clip, but it was opened. And the reason it was open was based on a strategy that I've already taught here on YouTube. And now I want to show you the process of actually creating that strategy from scratch. But right now, let's take a look at the trade. The trade had this five wick rejection, which is a strategy that I've already taught that I'm going to teach you how to create today. But this strategy has five wick rejection, which literally we can see right here. It's pretty simple. One, two, three, four, five wicks rejected. We opened up a position right up here because of that five wick rejection of a previous zone of major structure. And as you can see, since then, the market has taken off dramatically in over a 300 pip move to the upside. We caught about 170 pips on that live trade before I decided to exit the position, but we also got another trade right here in the EAP training program. I'll put a uh, screenshot of that trade to your left of the email I sent out everyone that was involved in the EAP got. So there's a look at that email and that's exactly what we were looking at here as well is a rules-based system, a rules-based strategy. This is the beginning of any profitable trader's journey. You have to have a system that provides you an edge over the market that you can trade consistently. So as we were talking about in the beginning of the video, we need to have rules. Consistency is the first part of creating a profitable system. So for rules, I like to define them in two separate parts. The first part is conditions. These are the market conditions you have to see. An example of this would be, do you want to see a market that's in a certain trend, down or up? Do you want to see a market at a previous level of structure? Do you want to see a market that is oversold or overbought on a certain indicator? Do you want to see a moving average that's above another moving average or price above or below another moving average? Now. All of these things would be classified in that first category of conditions. The next category I always use in order to create a strategy is the entry. Once I have the entry, which is almost always, for me at least, based on either candlestick patterns or price action patterns, such as double tops, double bottoms, head and shoulders, those would be classified as price action patterns. And in order to classify something as a Candlestick pattern, I actually create rules for candlestick patterns such as engulfing, shooting star, hammer, any kind of candlestick pattern you could think of. I've probably created a profitable trading strategy using that 
candlestick pattern. Now, just having conditions will do nothing for you. If you just have a market in trend, you're not gonna be able to have a profitable system because you know what a trending market looks like. If you just have a market at structure, you're not gonna trade profitably always trading because the market's at structure. You have to combine these conditions with a certain entry reason, okay? This is the process of creating a strategy. Now, you have conditions, you pick those out, and then you have an entry reason. Let's do this with the five wick rejection strategy. Our conditions is that we need a market that is at a level of important structure. What I classify a level of important structure as is the most previous level of resistance that was broken in an uptrend is one of those levels that I classify as a major level of structure. So we need a market that is at a major level of structure. So in this case right here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete all of this and show you what I mean. If the market is on this candle right here, we color this black so you can see it easier. The market is on this candle right here and it's just closed above this level of resistance. In that specific case, what's the most recent level of structure resistance that this market has broken in this uptrend? Pretty simple so far, right? Okay, so this would be my condition number one. My condition number one would be market above a moving average. It doesn't really matter which moving average you use. You can use the 100, the 50, the 20, does not matter. Above a moving average to show me the market's in trend or creating a one, two, three move to show me a market's in trend. That's condition one. We must see a break of a previous level of structure. And as long as that previous level of structure is the most recent level the market has broken, then I look in that area. This is, an, this is another condition, market in trend, at previous structure. Those are the only two things we have so far in creating this system with the market in trend and at this previous level of structure. Now I'm ready to look for my actual entry reason. So for the five wick rejection strategy that I've already talked about in previous YouTube videos and that I used to profit here on the pound Aussie for this specific strategy, I use five rejected wicks of this area. So I have my area pointed out here in black. What I do then is Get a little closer here. Place a horizontal line on the lowest body of this cluster of candles. The lowest body is this red candle here. And from there, I ask myself a very simple question. These strategies don't have to be difficult. This is a pretty simple strategy that does provide an edge over the market for me. So what I look for is a area here. This is in my area still. This was the area we were looking at, looking left. It is the most previous level of resistance that was broken. So now in this area, I'm looking for one, two, three, four, and five candlesticks that reject this area. So what I need to see is no close blows. I don't want a market, to, uh, a candle stick to come down here and close below one of those. That's not a rejection, that's just a close below candle. I wanna see a rejection. The market come into this zone and be pushed back out. That rejection means that these candlesticks are not gonna close below the wick of the previous candlestick. So with that being the case, we now have five wick rejection here and on the close of that fifth wick that rejected the candle is where I decided to place an entry. This is a set of rules that you can go through the market and test in historical data. It's verifiable. It is consistent. When I say that, it will make your trading consistent because you'll be trading based on the same thing every single time. And the power of that consistency is that you can test this strategy in historical data and see if it provides an edge over the market, which for me, it does. You need to test it for yourself on your own data and the way you see the market to actually come up with whether or not you want to trade it. And there's a lot more that goes into a full trading plan than just the system. But right now you have conditions and you have an entry reason that you can take and test through historical data. Again, keeping it consistent. So step number one to creating this is to create consistency, which is creating rules, which we have just done. Market conditions are trending market at the most previous level of resistance that is broken for a bullish trade at the most previous level of support that was broken for a bearish trade. Once the market gets into that zone with these candlesticks, I want to see five wicks rejected from that area on the fifth wick is where an entry is placed. This is the process of creating a profitable strategy and creating consistency in your trading, but we're not done yet. At this point, it's time to create stops and targets. So for me, and again, this is the process. I'm not trying to teach you this specific strategy. If you wanna learn it, I'll put a card in the top right hand corner of the screen where I actually taught this strategy in full detail, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you how to create a profitable trading system from scratch.
from absolutely nothing. And this is the process I go through every single time I create a trading system for myself or the community of traders we have in the EAP training program or here at the Trading Channel YouTube channel. Click the like button, click subscribe if you've already got value, follow us on Instagram, and back to it. The next part, the next piece of this puzzle we call a profitable trading strategy is stops and targets. We have to have a level where we know we're wrong and an area we know that we want to get out of the market for profit. So for me, with this specific trade, that looked like this. I placed my entry at the close of that fifth wick that rejected the close of that candle. So we had the wick rejection and then the candle closed a bit higher, but even with that being the case, I placed my stop loss below the uh, lows of those five wicks. Below the lows of those five wicks is where I wanted my stop loss. And for a target, like I said, we got about 170 pips out of the specific trade. And that ended up being about a 1.8 to one risk reward. Now, in terms of stops and targets, there are unlimited options you can do. You can do a one ATR below these lows. You can do a certain pip amount. I don't really like that because you're not, you're not accounting for the volatility of the market. If this market is moving at hundreds of pips per candle and you do a 10 pip stop loss below the weeks of these candles, the chances of you being stopped out is actually pretty high. So instead, I like to use an ATR indicator, which gives you the average of the last 14 candles, and then you can use that as a stop loss below these wicks. That's one way to use a stop. The other way is just to take the ATR indicator and multiply it by a certain numeric character, such as ATR times two is my stop loss. So if I have an ATR of 54, which is what's on this, my stop loss would be 108 pips. That's another way to do stop losses. Again, the only thing that's limiting you in terms of a stop loss you can use is your imagination. That's it. And in terms of targets, again, another area that is unlimited in terms of what you can do. For me, I like to use a set target as long as structure is not in the way. So I'll zoom out, look left, ask myself where the nearest structure is. In this case, the nearest structure I was concerned about was about right there, which is why I decided to exit before that area. But I might look at this and go a 1.5 to 1 risk reward ratio as long as structure is not in the way. That would be a great way to test for targets. But in terms of targets themselves, unlimited possibilities. And that's the final step to actually creating a profitable trading system is having consistent rules in terms of conditions and entry reasons for this specific strategy, right? It doesn't matter what those rules are. You just want set in stone rules so that you can trade consistently and so that you can validate that this has made money in previous years in the market, that it's been a profitable strategy, that it has in fact provided an edge because that's the first step to creating a profitable trading plan and a profitable trading career is to actually find a way to beat the markets, which is what we do with a profitable trading system. So you have your conditions and the strategy we're doing now, trend in trend and at a previous level of structure that was just broken. We have our entry reason, five rejections of that area of resistance that was just broken and bearish. It would be support that was broken to the downside. And we have our stops and targets. Stops could be one ATR below those wicks. Targets could be a 1.4, 1.5 risk reward ratio based on that stop loss. At this point, in less than 15 minutes, I have taught you exactly how I have built every single profitable trading system that I use. Every profitable trading system I use is rules-based just like this and very similar to what you've just learned. So with that being the case, I hope this video has been valuable. If you want some more advanced training and to see the strategies and systems risk management techniques, discipline techniques, and to get trades that I actually place sent to your email, then we do have the EAP training program, which is a mentorship program where I help guide you through the step-by-step -step process of becoming a profitable trader. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description. If you got value out of today's video, click that like button. Make sure you are subscribed so that you're alerted when we come out with more valuable content just like this each and every week. Follow us over on Instagram for the third time in this video. I know that's a little much, but we're really trying to grow over there. So it would be awesome if you could go over there and click the follow button. And with that said, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Go out, create your own strategy, test it, verify it in historical data, and shoot me a comment when you do. Tell me how and what you used in order to create that profitable trading system. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you trade green and I'll talk to you in the next video right now. You're going to see a video somewhere beside my face. What I want you to do is click it because I think it's going to be very powerful for the future of your trading. Talk to you soon.